What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Today I Work On and today I'm continuing with some bathroom videos and today we're going to talk about how I install a custom niche. This niche is going to be around a 12 by 16 inch niche smack right in the middle of the shower so when you walk in it looks nice we're going to do a nice little mosaic on it so i do like the 12 by 16 size because you can fit a lot of uh, shampoo and soaps in this box and it doesn't look too big so let me start getting into how i prep the the niche and i'm gonna i have to cut the stud out and that's the first thing we're gonna go over you have to cut this two by four out i'm gonna show you how to do it super cleanly so you don't have any damage on the wall this right here was existing i don't know if you could see that that was broken at some point i don't know why but we have this line right here and this line right here that is believe it or not it's 16 and a half inches why is it 16 and a half inches because we need to lose two inches for a half for a two by four plus a half inch of uh, cement board same thing on this side so that's two and two that's four inches so now we're at what 12 and a half inches now you have tile so you add take away another three quarters of an inch give or take and that's going to give me around 12 inches so right now i'm going to cut out this this uh two by four to show you and i'll show you how to break it super easy so you don't damage the drywall on the bedroom wall side take your circular saw don't be scared and keep it completely closed so you have a nice big cut and then you're just going to come through like so it's nice slow easy and steady one two we have this little bit of meat left what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my vibrating saw and i'm going to finish up the rest of this cut now you can see the cuts nice and straight some people use a sawzall i i like using a circular saw. i think it's super clean so let me uh get the vibrating saw and cut this rest of this two by four all right next up you get a nice nice sharp blade and just follow follow the bottom here with the vibrating saw That's it. Same thing, you want to go to the top though. You want to go with it, the tie end of the curve is. Ta-da! Nice and clean. You have a nice, beautiful, flat area to work with. Now, now we're going to cut the two by fours across. have a nice this doesn't have to be perfectly level these two by fours because we're tiling obviously but i do set it to level so i'm going to just screw it in right now and we will uh i will continue i will cut this piece and and you'll see what i'm doing so let me uh, start working on that this is my finished right here so i have a half inch for tile and then wall board so that's another half inch That's where my stud's gonna go. So you just measure the difference. It's nine and a quarter. So nine and a quarter goes right here. And that's where I'm going to put my studs in. So let me start cutting off. Now look, we got Anisha roughed in. So we have, what's our measurements? We have 14 by 18 and a half. So basically we have about two more inches to go on each side, right? So 14 minus two is 12 and then 18 minus two is 16. So there you go, that's your measurements. And next up, we're gonna throw some uh, cement board on here and then we'll waterproof it. I'll get into that in a little bit. I still have a few things to do in the bathroom before we close it up, but for now we'll uh, we'll jump into how I waterproof this. All right, today's the next day. I started the cement board, so this is basically straightforward. 
we're gonna i'm gonna cement board this you could use anything you could use your any type of membrane you want so right now i'm gonna cut out this hole and then what i'm gonna do is you'll see this i'm gonna cut out i'm gonna silicone that piece of cement board to the back of this wall that's how i do it and then i will cut the sides in and push that back piece in nice and tightly so it doesn't go anywhere so that's the next step so let's start working on that All right, holes cut, let's check it out. Looks like it's pretty good. I just need to shave a little bit right here. There you go. All right, so next up I'm gonna screw this up and then I'm going to put that piece I cut out and silicone into the back wall. My piece fits really well. And I like how it looks. It looks like it's, it's supposed to be there. So I'm going to hit it with silicone. Just to hold it a little bit in place. It's not, it's not going to go in there once we tile and throw the red guard on and the mortar. But you need a bat. You can't put tile on drywall like this no good some people do it I, I i don't do it so so just massage it in and that's good and then we'll put the sides in and that'll lock in this piece of cement board so let's start working on that i cut the i, I cut the first piece and i screwed it in now i'm going to score it so i have a nice clean edge to work with Just like that. Done. And then I'll do I'll do the sides and I'll do the top and then we'll uh, recap that and then we'll go over waterproofing. It's about a day of work to do a niche between prepping it, framing it, cement boarding it, waterproofing it, and then tiling it. So it, it, it's a pretty lengthy process. Now, how am I gonna waterproof the niche and I'm going to show you how and I mentioned this in another video when I was doing the tile ready base with the bench I use straight flex so I don't use the Schluter band because I think it's silly and it's too wide this straight flex is awesome it's awesome I love it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out all of the straight flex and I'm going to cover this whole box up and then I'm going to mortar it in so let me start doing that all right, so my first cut I just made, now that's for the first bottom piece. And then I'm gonna go around like so. Take about an eighth of an inch off, I would say, give or take. So I just go like this, and then I just, there's little numbers on the straight flex. So I got this one right here. I'm gonna cut it. And then this will be this side. And that's about right. I don't like it making, making it too tight, because once you put the mortar on, it builds it up a little bit and you don't want the straight flex to, to jam up. And I'm gonna show you how, I don't think it really matters how I taper it, but I actually install it like flashing, like a roof. So you go bottom up. So if water gets underneath, it'll come down into the shower, but this thing will never leak. I was just telling my client, you're probably talking, this is a hundred year bathroom. There's no way this bathroom's gonna leak anytime soon, unless like a, like a tornado hits this bathroom or it just gets outdated and someone wants to rip it out. So let me finish cutting this up. I cut all my pieces. Now I'm going to mortar all this in. And like I said, I'm gonna do it like a roof. So I'm gonna flash it in basically. Not that it matters because we're gonna red guard all of this. That's the next step. But right now, let me start mortaring in the box. When you throw the water in, don't be cheap. 
Mortars, this is the, uh, this is the Home Depot stuff. It's the, uh, it's like the $15 stuff. I'll, I'll show you a picture of it. Don't be cheap. Okay, that's why I said I gave a little bit of room on the, the straight flex so I could accommodate for some water build up because I want to bed this in as like as, as much as I possibly can. When you're installing the mortar, make sure when you put in the, mo the mortar, you want to have a good coverage. So when you have an overlap on the straight flex, you want to build that up with some water, just like that. So you have a good, nice, good stick. Same thing on the right side. I'm going to just hit it with some water so it's going to come down. Remember, like roofing flashing. Same thing, just push it in. It's, that's that's the pro tip on this to make it nice. So let me continue. At this niche doesn't it look good I think it looks good it looks pretty solid right it's all mortared in nice you could see you could barely see the tape make sure when you make your mortar you make it really it's a loose it's a loosey mortar uh, it's almost snotty uh, and it's not as it's not marshmallowy I make it a little bit looser so it kind of acts like a, a joint compound this is gonna dry up really really well and then tomorrow morning we'll red guard so that's it for now and then we will continue this tomorrow morning. Last, well, there's two more steps to finish before we actually finish waterproofing the custom niche. The first thing we need to do is just knock off any high spot on in the niche. Like I have a little bit of a high spot there. <laughs> because once we waterproof it and we do the next step, which is the red guard, you can't really chip at it. So make sure you just knock off all the high spots. Now that all the high spots are knocked off we're going to throw the red guard on the first step with the red guard is you need to wet it's just like anything else lack of moisture is bad when you're installing any of this between modified mortar or putting up red guard red guard wants moisture so i'm going to wet all the mortar with a sponge so once i wet all this mortar then i'm going to open up the red guard and i'm going to i'm going to start applying the red guard so I'm going to just dip it in the bucket and then I'm going to cover this all up just like so I'm probably going to do, I actually do around three coats around the niche and then two coats everywhere else. So that's basically it. So let me, uh, let me right guard this up and then we'll recap. That's how I install a custom 16 by 12 shower niche. If you like this video, please like it. If you like more of these videos on how I build my bathrooms, please subscribe. Uh, I think this one is pretty well covered. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments and I'll answer you. I always do. And again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.